Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. And as I promised in my last video, I am going to do my current week, which is October 16th through the 22nd. And this is also going to be the Q&A uh, video that I will answer any questions that I got, which I got two, but two people, what should I say, two people had um, asked me questions, but asked me more than one question on my Instagram. And I'm going to go ahead and answer that in this video. And also, this is a new kit new shop should I say that I will be working with this is from Beck Lucas planner shop and this is a Canadian shop the owner Rebecca oh, such a beautiful person we are actually friends on Instagram and I love how sweet and genuine she is so I had hauled this before and I will link it somewhere over here so you go ahead and see that haul so I'm going to just pass through these uh, stickers so you can see what I am going to be working with and as you can see this is such a beautiful kit and the kit name which I forgot to mention is pumpkin spice and I got the blonde um, hair for the girl there Oh my god, I fell in love with this when she showed me the pictures. I was like, oh, I am going to get this. And I did. I actually got this and another shop. Another shop, really? Another kit when she was having... I think she was participating. Yeah, she was participating in a Canadian um, sale. So I actually took advantage of that and ordered this kit. And as you can see here, this is what it consists of. And I love the deco. So yeah, let's go ahead and see what I'm going to do. One thing about working with a new kit layout, it's going to be like difficult, not only for me, for, but for a lot of people to figure out where everything is in the kit, but I think I could do this. But before I go ahead and start off, since there is a no glitter header, which I think glitter header would have done justice to this kit, I am going to pull out one that I had in my collection, and this is a shop that is no longer a shop, I'm sorry, but I want to use them, and I am going to pick this champagne um, gold, and since I don't think I have enough... I don't, why am I flipping it over? <laughs> I don't think I have enough for the whole thing, but I am definitely going to put the glitter header on top of the full boxes. And then she has here, these are all um, washi strips, but they look like they're header size. So I think I could use these for the rest of the headers in the planner. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and lay down my bones of the planners like I say which I am definitely going to use this double box which is gorgeous 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 box and I am going to of course use the full boxes the check boxes and the glitter for the full boxes the bottom washi and the rest of the headers with these so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this portion and I'll be right back.
thing I can say that I wish there was actually corresponding glitter um, headers to match the kit because this is a beautiful kit. And even though I did work in the um, decorative headers into the spread. So yeah, I'm still liking it. I just love how the stickers look. I love, love it, love it. And if I forgot to mention, it is on matte because I don't do glossy, but um, yeah, I think it's turning out awesome. So let me go ahead and get into my phone so that we can start the Q&A process of process, the Q&A portion of this video. So I've got the questions pulled up and I'm going to try my best <laughs> to answer the questions. Like I said, I have two, but I have more than one questions per each person. So I am going to try to do my sidebar while I answer some, but I'm going to go ahead and pull out. I'm gonna need some of these glitter headers. I'm gonna try to incorporate them in the sidebar. My track trackers, my habit trackers and the weekly tracker. I am going to use this quote, which says pumpkin spice season is upon us. And I think that is it. Yeah. So, <laughs> wish me luck. <laughs> oh, and I also forgot before I go on that I am going to use my tassels that I do all the time. And I think I am going to use this one here. This is matches a lot of these colors there. Yeah, I'm going to do that as well. So, okay. So the first person I have here, which is Amanda, which is my friend on YouTube and on Instagram. She's such a sweetheart. And her name here on Instagram is Amanda.k.549. So the first question she asked me was, how did I get started with planning? Hmm. Okay. I've always used to have planners growing up like um not so much in high school but more afterwards when I let me see how can I but let me just put this first before I mess this box up okay so now I got that down let me go ahead and answer it how did I get started with planning I've always had a planner, a little pocket one in my purse or my diaper bag when I became a mom. I had to make sure that I had my kids' appointments, my appointments down and the days that I would need to go to the appointments and leave work early, I would make sure that whatever needed to get done for that day, I would get done the day before. So I would write down my task to do for work. So yeah. Okay, so I had to shimmy it up a little in order to still have it there since like I said it's my thing that I do but I did not want to cover up any of the wording from the quote box so yeah let's go ahead and do day by day and let me tell you I give props to people who could actually answer questions and at the same time plan it, it's freaking hard let me zoom you in Okay, so I think that's close enough. Let me go ahead and answer Amanda's second question, which was, what do you know now as a decorative planner that you wish you knew when you started using stickers? Well, I wish I knew that I loved and could work better with a vertical spread than a horizontal because I started my planning um, process with the Lily Perlitzer and a Target uh, planner, I think it's Blue Sky, I don't remember the actual name. And I didn't know I liked more the vertical until I got a happy planner. 
and I was in love with the Happy Planner. I loved decorating it. And in the beginning, I didn't really use so many stickers, like sticker kits. I actually would do my own because I had a silhouette. And I would use um, like really pretty scrapbooking paper to do my spreads, which I loved. But the only thing that I didn't like about the Happy Planner was that it didn't have separation with the boxes and the days. It was like too cluttered. It's Everything was too cluttered. And yeah, so I wish that I knew back then that the Erin Condren style planning was what I needed to be, well, not what I needed to, but what would give me planner peace. So let's go ahead and get into Monday before I answer her next one. So Monday, I am going to use, I'm going to use one of her coffees, even though there's a coffee here for Coffee Monday, but I'm going to use one of her coffee mugs. I think they're so cute with the whipped cream as my coffee for Coffee Monday. And I uploaded, so I am going to use, I'm going to use one of these for my upload for Monday. And I'm going to use um, some of our littles. Yeah, right here. I mean, I'm not color blocking, obviously, because I can't. <laughs> but I'm going to use this brown here with the cell phone to mark that I had to pay my son's cell phone bill. And some more of her littles for my TV shows, which I have two now. And... You know what I noticed? I forgot to add here what I wanted this for. And I wanted this for my dinners. So I'm going to have to bring this down. Hopefully I still can. So let me go ahead and do that real quickly before I do my Monday. Okay, so that was a no-go. <laughs> it couldn't come out. So what I did was just push this down a little bit on top of the actual weekly tracker box and still show some of the glitter header there. I think it looks okay. So these are going to be for my dinners. For her third question, I'm still with Amanda. Um, she asked, what are your favorite planning things? Example, charms, tassel, or washi. So I think my favorite planning, I guess accessories, would most likely be um, clips, decorative clips, because I do have some, but I don't have more. Well, not more. I don't have enough to put for every spread, but I do do love them. I love when people use a lot of paper clips in their um, spreads. I think it looks really pretty. And yeah, that would most likely be it and as for my personal planner i love my tassels i always have a tassel on there and yeah i definitely love having tassels for my personal planner and decorative paper clips for my recollection planner even for my personal planner i just like them okay so i think that was it for that question and then here she has her last question is, what is your favorite type of sticker? Hmm. You got me there. You got me there. Because I don't know. I'm going to use this one for my um, upload. Um, I guess it's going to have to be... Um, functional stickers because I could go without decorative stickers but I can't go out can't go out. I can't go without my functional like to remind me when I have to pick up my son early or appointments or even um, my medication like I need my functional stickers in order to have a cohesive spread you know what I mean like I need to have that I could do without decorative for sure but I can't do without um, my functionals. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Amanda. <laughs> you got me really thinking about that one. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, I don't know what I'm going to use for the court date. Um, I don't know. So I think I'm going to just write that in like that without an icon. And now I'm going to go ahead and use this peach coffee mug for my coffee Monday. So be right here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and move on to my next um, questions. Well, my next set of questions, and they are from Sonia T. Planner Addict on Instagram. So basically it's Sonia underscore T underscore Planner underscore Addict. Okay, so her first question is, what are some of your favorite shops on Etsy? Okay, so before I answer that, let's go ahead and do my Tuesday, and it is to edit and upload. I'll be using these. I forgot to mention, these are from I Love to Print, and... I have a to-do, which is down here for Walmart. Does she have a shopping cart? Uh, no, but she does have a credit card, and I could use that. And um, I have to take the trash out. She doesn't have it. Yes, she does have a trash. And a TV show. So basically, I'm just using this here and some of her icons from here. So, okay, Sonia, what are my favorite shots on Etsy? I definitely PR for Templar Craft, and I PR for her because I genuinely love, love her kits. I love her stickers, and she is such a sweet person. So definitely Templar Craft. And um, my second shop would have to be... I love the printables. I love my um, paper and gumption. I love her printables, like her $2 printables. Love them. Love them. I love um, printable shops as well. Definitely. And as for another shop, I definitely love... And as for my third shop, third or fourth, well, a second actual one that you have to order to receive besides printable would definitely be this one here. Um, Beck Lucas Planner Shop. I love her style of picking out the boxes. So definitely that. And um, I think that is it. I know there's more. Oh, I do like, for sure, for sure, for sure, um, Fabulously Planned. I love her Dollar Wednesdays. I love her Dollar Wednesday stickers. Because no matter how much you order, you only paying a post stamp for shipping, which is nothing. So definitely love that. So those are the shops I really tend to gravitate to. So, yeah. And... Let me go ahead and put down that I went shopping. I'm going to put it here because I'm going to end up putting where I went, which was Walmart, Dollar General, and Dollar Tree. It was my first time going to Dollar General, and it was the first time I seen one in my town. So, yeah. And I have to make sure that I, do I have enough room to put down that I need to put the trash? Hmm. Okay, let's do some rearranging here since I really don't have much to do for this day besides record this. Or should I say film this and edit this video okay so I am going to use 
I'm going to use this half box here. Okay, and then now I could use this for my shopping list of places that I went, and then I need to put the trash out as well. So I will put it here. Okay, so that is my Tuesday. Oops, I forgot a TV show, which was This Is Us. And... I'm going to use this brown one right here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and move on to Wednesday. Wednesday, I have to upload this video. Laundry day, I need to change my wall deco vacuum, take my weekly pills, go pick up some pills in Walgreens, and I watch a show on Hulu with my son. So we're going to binge on that tomorrow. So let's go ahead and answer Sonia's second question, which was, do you prefer using kits or no kits when planning? Hmm. Honestly, now that I'm going to mark my TV binging with Zach with a heart littles. Now that I got used to planning with kits, Oh my God, I love planning with kits because it has everything that I need. But I can also plan without, which I would do like no plan kits before. Definitely before when I was in my happy planner, I did so many plannings without kits before. And I just made my own kits or don't use none at all. But now that I've been doing this for a while, I definitely, definitely prefer to plan with kits. Okay, I need to upload, and I'm going to use this one, yeah, this one here, and I'm going to put this in, hmm, yeah, she has a flag, which are so pretty, I'm going to put it with the flag. This way better. What else did I need to do? I needed to pick up my meds and a laundry day. This laundry sticker is from Vintage Lilac Paper. My prescription pill bottle is from Planet Southern, and this is my weekly check. Well, my weekly teardrop of pill for my weekly pills is from my planner envy and let's see if i can fit all this so that is the first half of my weekly spread so let's go ahead and turn to the lab portion and for Thursday, I have down to film and edit. I have an appointment that day with my PCP. I gotta do my nails and I also have to buy my mom a birthday present because my mom's birthday is on the 20th. This again for my film edit. Yeah, I'm gonna use appointment label and her icon for my appointment. And so I'm gonna use this gift as well to remind myself to buy my mom a gift. I'm going to use uh, this nail polish sticker, this one right here, match the kit. This is from, it's just cat. Yeah, it's just cat. So let's go ahead and plan this out. So for Sonia's third question, she asks, who are some of your favorite planners to follow on YouTube and on Instagram? Oh, okay. Sonia, you're getting me here. <laughs> Let me go ahead and put down first my appointment. 
and the icon. Where is the icon? Oh, okay. So, I used to love to watch um, Planning with Belinda. I think she was my first planner um, YouTuber, but she's also, she's just, well, she's a lot of things in YouTuber on her channel, but I used to watch her for her makeup and I also love her decorating ideas and then how she was, when she was planning her wedding, how she used the planner and I think it was just so beautiful how she planned. So I definitely watched her and I still do. Um, I'm going to have to go on my YouTube here to tell you who I do follow. I do love to watch um, Jenna Rose, um, what is it, Planning Roses. Uh, I, I love her channel. I always loved how she planned as well, and she owns a sticker shop. I also love to watch Paper Princess. Kiki's planning is so gorgeous. I love how she plans and how she decorates. Um, I also like to watch Amanda. Amanda K, the one who I just was answering her question. I love her channel. I love how she plans out. Nikki plus three. I love it. I love how she does her weekend banner. And I actually took that concept from her channel because I love how it looks. So definitely watch Nikki plus three. I also like um, Cardboard Couture. I love Tiffany, how she, you know, puts her little personality in all her videos. I, you know, how she is as a person. I think she's so funny and I know if we were to meet in person, we'd probably get along because she, she, she acts a lot like me at times. <laughs> and I definitely, definitely love to watch Soda Pop Studio. I also watch her um, vlog channel. And um, I'm trying to think. Okay, guys, I'm so sorry that I didn't even notice that I was not recording and I went on to um, Friday. And I did finish the last question from Sonia about who were my favorite planners on YouTube and on Instagram, but you didn't get to hear what I said for Friday, which is kind of a bummer because Friday is my mom's birthday and I put down a half box with balloons from Temple of Craft to signify her birthday here. I am going to upload my Friday video and I may or may not have a movie night and of course I have an appointment on this day as well, which I'm gonna put down here. So the question that I had to answer which was her next question, it was, let me see here, okay, if you could do something different in your channel and videos, what would you do? So, what I said before, which didn't matter because you didn't hear it, <laughs> was that I wish I could do more of a vlog style um, video. Like, I do have some vlogs, which is just my health vlogs that I discuss in my car about my knee and my whole, you know, rheumatoid arthritis and arthritis situation. And that's about it. Cause I don't, I'm sorry, that was my phone. I don't have an exciting life, basically. I mean, besides the usual and appointments and taking care of my kids. Uh, yeah, no. And some portion of my life, I definitely want to keep private. That's why I don't put everything down on my planner that I really do 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 <laughs> really do um on a daily so yeah i wish i could have more vlog videos because other than that my start off my channel as a makeup channel and then i also do unboxing on here as well so now i'm into the um decorative planning style videos as well so yeah i think that would be the only thing that i would want to do if i had more of an exciting life was to do more vlog videos Okay, so let's go on to Saturday. Saturday, I don't really have much to plan because I don't plan out my Saturdays, but I do want to cover this up and I think I am going to most likely use, so I'm going to use, a, hmm, I want to use a half box here. 
And I wanna cover up this header and I'm gonna do so with one of these. I think I'm gonna use the black one. Okay, so moving on to Sunday. Sunday I do have a bill due, um, a Vikings game, and my cleaning list. And also I have a show to watch. So as for my shows, I'm gonna use the icon there and I am going to use a quarter box here for my football game. Right here, so from Temp. And I want to most likely use one of these checklists. Maybe, maybe not, because I don't really have room for everything. But I'll probably use one of these for that. So yeah, let's go ahead and plan that. And at the same time, I'm gonna answer another question from Sonia. And her next question is, why did you shut down your Etsy shop? For those of you who don't know, I used to have an Etsy shop, an Etsy, an Etsy shop, which is Ayla's 22 Plans, I think. I don't remember, just A Love or Anna Loves 22. I, I try to keep it the same name as my channel. Um, the reason why I closed it was because I didn't, at the time, I couldn't find a decent paper that I would like to use. And at that time, I didn't really have much experience in um, designing stickers, basically. And... Um, yeah, I wasn't doing good at all. It didn't take off the ground at all. I got like maybe one purchase. Sad. So sad. I know. Um, <laughs> and that was it. And I'm like, you know, it's costing me more money to keep it up than to actually sell. So yeah, I didn't really do well at all. So I just closed it. I figured, uh, I closed it. Plus I got sicker, like my arthritis turning into rheumatoid arthritis. So I was always in pain and I didn't really have time to keep up with it. I was more resting than anything. So yeah. Then let me go ahead and answer her other question while I'm still doing this. She also asked, how did you learn how to create weekly kits? How I learned? Well, since I used to make my own for my uh, happy planner, um, I don't know. I just found a site that gave all the... The measurements for the Erin Condren, for the Happy Planner, and I did it. And the next part of that was what program to use. So I guess it was all together. I bought a, um, well, I got a silhouette as a birthday present. And from there, I was cutting. But before I even got my silhouette, I downloaded the silhouette um, program. Because you don't need a silhouette to actually download it, and it's free. And I just started messing around with it, learning the tools, how to do this, how to do that. And then I started making little um, stickers for myself with the silhouette. And then from there on, I took the measurements that I needed to make the bottom washi, the um, headers and all that. And I started making my own kits. And yeah, that's how I did it with the silhouette. So if you don't have a silhouette, but you still are, I guess if you're planning to do a shop, it still would be really, really great to download the Silhouette program on your computer, rather be Windows-based or um, the Apple computer because you could get in practice doing so. And I mean, that's how I did it. You, know, you could find the measurements online. You could Google the measurements online as well. And yeah, from then on, it was just easy for me to just do it and cut it and I didn't buy any clip art so whatever clip art that I had either I just got it from Google um, images or the last one I did my daughter actually drew it out and I took her drawing and I made it into a kit so yeah I'd never really purchased 
any clip art. So yeah, that is the last of the questions and I'm grateful that I got two people who asked me so many questions. So now that I have her like this, I'm gonna go ahead and add the weekend banner because I did not put it down and no, I didn't forget about it. I was just waiting until I was done planning to figure out where would I put this. What else do I need to put? I need to put some deco down. So, I'm gonna do so. So I'm gonna put some of these down and I'll be right back. she turned out with the deco. I am loving the fact that I put them up here since I don't have any day covers for this kit. And as for the kit itself, I really don't have much left. I was trying to run away. That one's gone. Of course, it was a double box. I have almost all my littles there. I have two check heart boxes there. I got some decorative washi still. I almost have all of this sheet here. I have two full boxes which I might even use for my personal planner and only one um, half box here on this sheet. So I will keep these next to me in the planner. Most likely use some more for a Saturday. Whatever I do, I will fill this in so yeah if you want to see pen to paper go ahead and follow me on instagram i will have this up so you can see how it looks and i will be using of course my friction pen from um pilot which i love those are my jams and other than that i don't know what else to say besides how gorgeous this turned out i love the deco i love the clip art i mean it's so beautiful i am not putting my countdown to halloween down on the bottom washi because i don't want to cover up this gorgeousness that i have going on here i will continue with that on the next following week and i think that is it so if you like this video please go ahead and give me a thumbs up it does help my channel a lot and if you're not a subscriber or it's your first time actually finding me, please go ahead and subscribe down below. I do have links to any shop that I use always down below as well. And of course, my coupon code for Temple of Craft. So if you have any questions or anything, please go ahead and leave me a comment down there as well. So yeah, I have nothing else to say besides I love each and every single one of you. Take care of one another and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.